Hi everybody, this is Susie. <clears throat> I have something to share with you guys I'm super excited about. Um, I made this little wedding type uh, card and I made the, I created the cut file on my Cricut and I want to share that with you guys so I'm excited about that and it's gonna be a little bit different than what these ones are this was the first ones that I created um, and then I wanted to uh, try to create it again using all free elements so that it doesn't cost you guys anything for any of the cut any of the cuts so um, it's gonna be very similar to this but a little bit different um, well I guess that, that's, blah, 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 that's what that means anyways and I did this one here also but uh, let me take you guys over to my Cricut and I will show you the cut file um, I'm gonna pause for just a minute I'll be right back I know I'm back so this is what the uh, cut file is gonna look like when you guys click on the link and I'll have it in my description box down below and let me see if I can still hold this and move this up so you guys can see and that's what the top part looks like um, I'm gonna do this one a little bit different I did the first one in gold and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the base out of a frosty uh, white cardstock or metallic white anyways and then the uh, birdcage part will be black and the little heart there on the top will also be the uh, the white metallic paper or cardstock anyways um, you'll want to use a real heavyweight cardstock for your base um, it just will hold up a lot better and look look nicer uh, anyway so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this over to my Cricut and cut it out and when I get all my parts and pieces cut out I'll meet you guys back at my mat all right see you in a bit hello <laughs> I almost forgot before we uh, send this to the mat to get cut out um, I'm going to emboss this uh, white frosty cardstock and I'm going to be using this background stamp. Um, just use any background stamp that you have that's floral would look really pretty, I think. Um, and I don't, I don't know what the brand and name of this stamp is. I'm sorry, guys. I've just had this in my stash for a long time. Um, I'm going to grab some silver embossing powder. I'll be right back. Okay, um, so I was uh, over there looking at my embossing powders, and I thought I'd give something a little a try here. Um, so I'm going to grab a couple more things, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I, this is just a little, a little tray thing that I've got. Um, any, any little cup thing or little thing like this will work. What I'm going to do is, I'm, I wanted to use a glittery silver, uh, embossing powder. I have some silver, uh, metallic embossing powder, but I wanted a little sparkle in it. So I'm going to, uh, do a, a mix here and make my own. So, let's see. I know, I'm just going to do the dump method. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to add some embossing powder in there. I have some little containers with lids that I'll pour this into when I'm done. And I'm just using some real fine 
silver glitter by Martha Stewart. You um, you don't want to add more um, glitter than what you have embossing powder. So I'm going to try to put about half of what I did. That's good. You guys see how glittery that is? That's really pretty. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I just folded this in half. Alrighty. So the first thing that... And I'm just going to stamp and emboss the bottom part of this cardstock because um, I don't want the embossing on the back of the card. I'm just going to do it on the front. So, there it is. So, this is just a powder tool that I made. And just use an, any anti-static tool that you have. And do this real good so you don't have embossing powder and glitter stuck everywhere you don't want it. And I'm just using Versamark. And get your stamp inked up really, really juicy. I'm going to ink and stamp this. Okay, so I had to go off camera and give this a really good press. My my first one didn't turn out so great. So, anyways, um, I left that on there for a few minutes and let's pull it off. Okay. And I'm going to emboss it twice. I'm going to do this side also. But first, I want to do this side here so that uh, I don't let my ink dry out on me. On here. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is so pretty. Right. The way you guys can watch it. Watch it as it turns. And you really want to move this around some with this type of heat gun because and this paper because it will tend to to scorch if you're not careful wow oh i love that okay next <laughs> all right let's powder this one more time And I'm just barely going to overlap this stamp, just barely so that it looks like it's one stamping. And this, if you guys are curious, this um, stamp base that I'm using or is by Prima. And it's... It's really nice for those real big stamps. Have to give it some pressure again. So I'm going to pause for a minute, you guys, while I smoosh this stamp on there. 
Okay. <laughs> I think I smooshed it enough. Alrighty. Okay. Ready. Okay. Move that stamp out of my way. Let's bring in our paper again. this down this way to try to get everything I kind of missed. There we go. There's a couple little spots on here that I need to kind of get a paintbrush and wipe away. It's not super bad, but bad enough where it's going to bug me. <laughs> and there's really just that the area where I crossed over pretty much. Well, I guess a little here too. A little bit of extra time now means I'm not gonna hate it when it's done. <laughs> That's so pretty. see how sparkly that is okay so now I'm gonna go to my mat and cut everything out and I'll be right back hello <clears throat> so I got everything all cut out uh, so we've got these three pieces here this well this one this one and this one and so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move these off to the side and bring up the embossing powder and and our little heart and you're gonna need a pair of tweezers for this so that you don't burn your fingers and actually I'm just gonna pick this up and Put it on there and smoosh it around on there and get it good and wet. All right. Then I'm just going to dunk this. In the embossing powder. And then grab my tweezers and pick it up carefully so as I don't wipe off any of the embossing powder I put on there. I give it a couple of taps and I'm going to blow on it. Oh shoot, that's what I needed to do. Okay, I am back. Um, I did get one more thing cut out that I had totally spaced off, but uh, the when you're using the metallic paper, it's not very easy to stamp or write on, like I was telling you guys. So. I just used one of my um, octagon uh, dies and cut that out and that's going to go on the inside of the card. But uh, anyway, we are ready to put this card together. So you're just going to bring both ends in like this and line it up. And you'll need a bulb folder as well. But get it lined up as best as you can. And I just saw my bone folder. There it is. It's hiding. <laughs> okay. Give that a good press. And then we're going to put this on. And where did... There it is. 
things are hiding in plain sight. <laughs> anyway, so let's get this all glued up. Okay. Is that a good press? And that's what we got so far. That is so pretty. And I'm going to lay this out. Give it a push from the other side as well. And I'm going to go ahead and tack this down. I'll have to get out my... Actually, I think it is right. So if you guys have never... Sorry about that. So if you guys have never seen this, it's a... Uh, a sand eraser by Tombow. And... It will remove little boo-boos that you make, so then your card's not ruined. And let's glue this little guy down. And I'll be getting some more tutorials up on, like, the Hero Arts kit that I got and stuff. I just, uh, my daughter asked if I could come up with a pattern for her, uh, her boyfriend's cousin's wedding. And so I came up with this file and I, uh... Anyways, and then I was thinking, oh boy, that'd be awesome to be able to share this with you guys. So, here we got this so far. That's so pretty. And uh, another thing that I did off camera, that's why I have black ink on my finger. I went from the back side and I uh, went all along all the edges because the paper, the black paper I used has a white core. And I didn't want the, that white to show on there, so I went from the back side and uh, traced around everything so that you couldn't see that anymore. Okay, next thing you're going to need is a hole puncher. And keeping the card put together like this. Turn my punch around so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and then just uh, even it up in that in that top hole there. Awesome. Okay, and then I have some lace and ribbon cut and uh, so the lace I'm using is just a cotton material fabric uh, lace and then this is a silver sparkly kind of uh, ribbon and uh, when you cut this stuff you have to use a lighter and kind of singe your edges otherwise it'll call come unraveled uh, so any who's it so I'm just going to lay this out and get it evened up. I think that's pretty even. There we go. Now it's See if we can't get it in that tiny little hole. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to come from the back side. Hopefully. A 
awesome. And then you're just going to open this up and then reach and get all of it and pull it through the loop. And then just pull it tight, but be careful when you're making this snug not to um, not to tear your card. And I'm just going to give a snug pull on my ends to tighten things up. Um, I actually, you know what, I don't know if I'm going to use the silver, so I'm going to take that out and try it one more time without it. Um, it made it a little bit bulkier than I wanted it to, so... Just pull that out. And we'll go ahead and snug that back up again. There. I like that better. I didn't like that silver on there. There, that's better, huh? Okay. I think that turned out really nice, you guys. And let me show you these other two, the first ones I made again. Um, and I'll put it side by side to this one. And let me know in the comments which one you guys like the best. Now, after I fix this string. <laughs> I mean, lace. Uh, I can't talk today. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to pan out just a touch. And as you see, we did one in gold and one in silver. The stamp I used on the gold one is the same exact stamp. They look different looking at it in the monitor here, uh, but they're not. Anyway, so let me know which one of these you guys like the best. Um, this one will be free. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put a link to both of these in the description box. And you can make up your mind which one you guys want more than the other one. Or maybe you want both. Uh, this one is 100% free. And this one, I believe there's uh, two items on here that, uh, the heart being one of them, and I believe the birds were one of the other. Anyway, um, it's a dollar or two for the, uh, to be able to use a couple of the cut patterns on this one. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys like this video, and... Uh, I still have a bunch more of these to make for my daughter to give to her cousin. Anyways, but uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I hope you enjoy these patterns. Talk to you later. Bye.